What's going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. Today's video is going to be actually from a couple of days ago. I found this pond a couple of months ago and I really liked it so I decided to go back out there and see if I could potentially get on my first swim bait fish back in New York. As you guys probably know the bite out here has been absolutely horrible. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's just the super warm weather has kind of got these fish in a mood. But I went out to this pond a few days ago just before the sun started going down and tried to get on my first swim bait fish back in New York. I did catch most of my fish this day on a Senko, but I did end up catching a swim bait fish in there as well. So I figured I'd just make this into a video for you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoy it, but we're going to get right into the action. I'm sure you guys don't really want to hear me talk. You just want to see me go out and fish. So we're going to go and do exactly that. But yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys a couple of days ago down at the pond. Alrighty, here we go, folks. Down here at our favorite trash-filled pond. Let's see if we can find ourselves a little trashy bass. Got two rods with me today. I've just got one conventional setup to either throw like a Senko or a little swim bait, which is what we're starting off with. And then I also brought my uh, dedicated swim bait setup. See if we can maybe get on a uh, swim bait bite here once the sun starts going down a little bit. But I'm gonna start off with some conventional stuff just to see if we can get popped a couple of times. I know I can get bit on a Senko out here, but I've been catching them on a Senko like nobody's business. And I'd really like to catch them on a moving bait if at all possible. So we're gonna start off with a little swim bait. interest in throwing a little swim bait very quickly <laughs> so we're gonna switch up to the Senko again I know I can get better on a Senko over here so we're just gonna see if we can get one on the board real quick the board baby we're on the board first one of the day on me I don't even know what that was I'm not even thinking right now first one of the day for me I think is what I was trying to say there nice not a terrible fish a little pounder take that later bud all right let's get another one drop that thing right in the same general area see if we can get that again <laughs> all right well that was the last uh strike king senko that i had by the way that was the strike king ocho I what the color is it's like honey dew or honey something pretty solid little color but we're going to switch up to the six cents cloud because again i am out of those uh little kvd senkos actually I think my drag's kind of loose oh yeah a little bit better hell yeah number two that is about the same size actually okay calm down calm down finally oh oh no he broke me off calm down calm yourself calm yourself calm yourself calm yourself get back on the bank hey 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 there we go Buddy broke me off right here at the bank. Nice. Another little pounder. Later, boss. Ugh. Smells like shit right here. Getting bitten by mosquitoes, but we finally got ourselves another one. 
been out here for like two hours without a, an actual fish on the bank. But we actually got one. Alrighty. Fish number two, little time check for you guys. It's like 6.30. Got probably another two hours or so until the sun goes down, but been out here for probably about three hours or so already. So definitely, uh, definitely kind of a slow day. Been bit quite a few times. I think most of the things that we were getting bit by were bluegill though, so haven't really been getting a whole lot of uh, bass action, at least as far as I can see. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, fucking hell. Drag was loose. Okay, well let's try that again. Jesus Christ, I was just talking about how I haven't been getting bit very much, and I just got bit on the very next cast after the last fish that I caught, so... Maybe they're starting to turn on a little bit. Like I said, it's about 6.30. It was super hot earlier, or decently hot earlier, not super hot, like 80 degrees or so. So definitely not a, not a chilly day by any stretch. And uh, I think it's got these bass kind of in a weird funk right now. But I think we're finally starting to... Is that another one? Definitely seem to like this little six cents cloth though. I haven't really thrown it all too much. I threw it around a little bit last year. I was gonna do like a, uh, a review style video on them at some point last year, but ended up running out of time before the end of the season. So we didn't get around to doing that, but got about four or five packs of them that I'm gonna try and go through over the next week or two. Really test them out, see what they're made of. And after that, then we'll do this little review video that I was talking about. So keep on the lookout for that at some point in the future. Again, we got quite a few packs of these baits to go through before I actually feel comfortable giving you guys my honest thoughts and opinions about them, but so far the fish seem to like them, so we'll keep throwing them around a bit. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Well, there goes that Senko. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I guess I was just fishing the wrong side of the pond. That's now three bites. And uh, one fish. So we're gonna keep going over here with the little Senko. Again, I wanna start throwing that wake bait around here in a sec, but I wanna start throwing that kind of up the creek a little bit more. So we're gonna kind of work our way down there. But if there's fish biting over here and they're gonna eat the Senko like this, then I'm gonna keep throwing the Senko over here. May as well, right? Deal, number three. That's a little guy, hopefully he won't break me off right here. Oh, he's barely hooked. Nice, little tiny guy, heck yeah. Deal, peace. Whoa, whoa, little psychopath right there. Sick. All right, let's make our way down this sketchy ass bank. Nice thing is that the water's down enough to where this is super unmanageable. Usually this is like a foot of water where I'm walking right now, so I don't mind the fact that we can get around a little bit easier. Decent one. I ain't not too bad. Yeah, okay. Oh, wanted to go pull him up on the bag and he took off the other way. All right, it's probably the best one of the day. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Freaking chomped on my hand there. There we go. There we go. Not a bad one. I like that. A little pound and a half guy. Probably the best one of the day. Later, miss. Take my worm up here real quick. Nice, that one's probably done. I think that's probably my sign to pick up the swim bait, at least for just a second. 
I can always come back to the Senko and probably catch one or two more, but I wouldn't mind throwing that little wake bait around and hopefully getting one. Wouldn't mind catching one on this little wake walker here. I've been throwing it around a little bit recently. I haven't really been getting bit on it or anything. I've been throwing this and the Clash predominantly, and it seems like the Clash has been doing it to them a little bit better. But uh, we're going to see if we can change that, see if we can pop one on this thing. Sick second cast, hell yeah. Oh, that's a decent one, hell yeah, bro. Nice, all right, get up on the bank, hell yeah, bro. Second cast on the wake walker, and I got me one. Nice, we'll take that little healthy two and a half pound guy on the wake walker, hell yeah. First swim bait fish that I've had since I got back to New York, so hell yeah. Nice, hell yeah. Deal. Long skinny guy. Got a little weird thing going on on his face right here. Looks like he's been hooked before. Definitely messed him up a little bit. He's bleeding on this side. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take that. Hell yeah. Later, bud. Have a good one. Yeah, you're not. You're unhooked. You're good. You can go home. All right. Sick. First little guy on the uh, little wake walker. I like that. That took literally two casts. Made a cast out there over past that tree and just kind of brought it back super slow. I'm trying to keep this thing pretty much right along the surface. A, because I think that a wake bait's probably going to be pretty good right now, but B, I also don't want to let it go down and potentially run into like a rock or a tree or something and lose this bait. But uh, that, that was sick. I like that. I like it when it works like that. I was seeing some, some fish waking around over in this general area and uh, made a cast over there pretty much just like that a little bit further on, but just pretty much that same exact line and that guy came up and smoked it right in the middle of this little channel right here so we're gonna keep fishing around here a little bit see if we can't find ourselves another one and all i was doing with that is i was just reeling it like this and then i just paused it and he ate it on the pause so i think that's what we'll just kind of keep doing just reel it for a little bit and pause it and i'm feeling that they'll mostly just eat it on the pause because generally what they'll do with the wake bait is I'll come up and just pop it like that right on the pause. Whew. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately, we couldn't make anything else happen on that little wake walker. Just got the one fish real quick. But it's a pretty solid day regardless. Again, we caught four or five fish on the little Senko and then just that one on the wake walker. But regardless, I'll definitely take that. But again, that's going to be it for today's video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more content from me. Check and recommend. and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.